Right, let's talk to Kate. Of course, her life was turned upside down this time last year when Derek was hospitalised, her husband, of course, after contracting COVID-19. And after 12 long and very tough months fighting for his life, Kate joins us this morning to share some very positive news about Derek. He has finally returned to the home. Uh, it's yeah. lovely to see you, Kate. Gosh, this came out of nowhere, really, um, with regards to suddenly happening. When did you find out he was coming home? Well, as you know, uh, both of you, you know, I think anybody who's has been or loved one has been in hospital for a long time, what you want is for them to be home. That's what you're absolutely, you know, campaigning and wanting to happen. But it's been a lot of discussions, even before Christmas, about what is the best way to go, because um, it's kind of balancing. It's a very unique situation. Derek's situation. Uh, and whilst the doctors made it very clear they wouldn't have allowed him home if there was any risk to his health, in fact, one of them did say to me, I said, I'm not pushing into something that's not right, are you? And they went, Kate, you can't push me. <laughs> so he made it very clear it was fast, even though I tried, as you know, to push people and convince them of things. Um, but it was really looking at his cognition, looking at his consciousness, and trying to think about um, what would be the best way to improve that. Because as you saw in the documentary, there have been improvements in autumn. You know, he's using more words um, and there are more things that he can um, uh, do now. He's got some more movement in his hands. He can show emotion, oh, bless him, uh, there, as we're seeing on the, on the screen. But it felt as though everything had stalled medically and if anything ha had got was going slightly back and and obviously with the very necessary covid restrictions are in place i couldn't visit family couldn't visit even some of the therapeutic things um that we would want to do you know to try and get yeah. to help him move forward couldn't happen so taking all that into account they said right let's give this a go let's get him home safely so it does feel a little bit like the hospital has come home with me at the moment because um, we've got all sorts of, you know, professional people making sure everything is safe um, and then see how being in the family environment um, can work. I don't, I, you know, even though I think I'm a professional, I don't actually know where I'm meant to be looking. Am I looking at you it's if I look fine. there? You look wherever <laughs> yes, you, you like. <laughs> We're all just listening okay. intently. Um, but, Kate, can I it's ask you... It's been amazing. It's been amazing. Well, we're so, so thrilled for you. Um, does Derek know he's home? And if so, I has he no. been able to talk... Has he had any sort of... Has he expressed any feelings about it to you? Well, he did come... I'm going to tell you a couple of things. I'll do it really quickly, because I realise you do have other things in the show. Not really. Um, uh, got, so it's all about you. The... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you poor thing. Yeah. OK, so... We, when we came in the door, and of course, that I, as we pulled up, because I, I was able to come home with him, I went into hospital to help come home, bring him home. Uh, I could see two little faces of Darcy and Billy looking out the window, and then I could literally see Billy, they go, he's here! And they sort of ran out and ran forward, opened the door, and he immediately burst into tears, and there was sort of a lot of hugging, and got him inside um, and uh, yeah, he absolutely knew he was home. Um, and, you know, he is responding all the time. Uh, what he's not able to do is to sort of talk and say, like you might imagine Derek might say on coming home, or I certainly this time last year assumed he would say when he came home, which is why the hell is the place such a mess? Yeah. You know, it's not like that, but he is absolutely, you know, um, responding and aware where he is and there's just been so many little lovely moments like um I've been saying to him all the time during the coma when you get home you can have one of my casseroles uh which he loves by the way that's not a threat <laughs> um he loves my casseroles and because he can swallow a bit now I said right let's see if we can get you somehow around a kind of table with all four of us so we sort of managed to do that. And as I was sort of laying out the plates, I was realised I was laying out four. Oh. Makes me cry now. Yeah, of course. Um, and it's just, you know, and Darcy was saying, oh, we're going to put four spoons down. And I don't know. It just feels like the start of a, a huge chapter, um, but a really, really big and important one. Hugely we're just going to give it our best. I think that there are those moments, aren't there, Kate, that they are going to keep popping up over the next few yeah. days, the next couple of weeks, things that we've all sort of taken for granted, that you and Bill and Darcy have got used to putting three plates down for dinner and suddenly you can have four. Yeah. 
That must have been a lovely moment know, to have all four of you around the table. Thing, yeah, it's not it? silly. Such a silly little yeah. thing, but it was just oh my goodness. And then, uh, and then Billy was like, "Have you got enough mash?" And I said yes because I don't think um, I don't think Dad's going to be eating that much. But he was suddenly remembering Dad's old portions. Yeah, <laughs> yes. and now that's an interesting yeah. point, isn't it? Because you had said he'd lost a lot of weight. Uh, whilst huge, he was yeah. a huge amount of weight whilst he was in hospital, of course, because he wasn't feeding normally. But um, how how much help are you going to need? Because you can't do it all on your own, can you? Because, you know, there's an no. awful lot of care that needs just to move him around, I'm assuming, Kate. Yes, it's, it's massive, you know. Um, uh, yes, and I mean, you know, we weren't all sitting around the dinner table, you know, we just sort of constructed a version of it. Um, so, you know, we, it, it's, um, yeah, so he can't really move. We do need a lot of help. And it's not just help with looking after him because it is 24 hour yeah. care. And I haven't really slept as you can probably tell, but um, that will, I will ease off. It's just that I'm very aware at the moment mm -hmm. and, um, and it's a whole new team, so he's probably got a little bit used to the people in hospital. And so it's a new team now that are, are kind of working with him and helping him to come through. So, you know, it's, um, it's going to take a lot of adjustment. But on top of the care side, there's also the kind of very specialised therapeutic intervention, which yeah. will which will come, have to come in to make sure that, that this isn't just about getting him with us, for us, it's hoping that actually this will prompt uh, yeah. um, something. A speedy in recovery, a speedy so, recovery, yeah. Well, I think, or even some recovery, Rambir, to be yeah. honest, because he's definitely sort of plateaued at this level. And obviously we're hugely grateful for this level and not losing him. Yeah. But we really want to see if we can move forward, if we, we can get in speaking more, able to speak more, able to move more um and see see what we can draw out yeah. and it's going to be very slow yeah it's a long uh, process afraid, isn't it? And, and a bit of a wait and see but so the physiotherapy the occupational therapy there will be sort of neuropsychology as well and and speech and language therapy will all be for we're all sort of working on a program and what they've said is is you know purpose is what they hope will come in so when they see you know uh the children playing will it perhaps prompt him more to sort of say what you're building with your lego bill yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or what you're doing darcy than perhaps a full situation in a vacuum in a room yeah. with people in the and of course he's so. going to be downstairs isn't he we saw in the documentary sort of yes. ripped out the whole back of the house for this moment and him <laughs> being downstairs will be uh, presumably you'll just be spending all your time in that sort of hub of the house will be wherever Derek is now. Yeah, so we're in the kitchen now, which as you can see, we've got sort of sofas in the kitchen, yeah. our kitchen and our little front room is now his bedroom. And I thought I got it really ready. And then um, the experts arrived and said, right, we've got to get all this out. Oh, because obviously, you know, <laughs> chairs and sofas and everything have to go um, because there's a lot of kit. You know, right. there's a huge amount of kit that comes with him. So, yeah, so I think the next two or three days I'll be um, I'll be taking lots of putting th more things in plastic yeah. boxes. But it's all fantastic. Sorry, hey, I'm gambling away. You're, you're, not. You, are, you, you're not. Uh, you mentioned Bill and Darcy, of course, and them being at home. And the three of you have been on your own for a very, very long time. Yeah. How is it for the three of you, for them particularly, having Dad home? Because they... I assume it's Easter holidays at the moment, but there's all those things that come with school and where they are in their lives at the moment. How have they been? Yeah, they've been amazing, actually. And one of the things about um, is that we've now got some big glass doors. So uh, they were outside in the garden and, and I was trying to sort of position him so he could see them. Going, I'm not sure how good is how good his eyesight is, but they, he seemed to be responding and they were sort of running back up to the door going, Dad, 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 watch this, and then running back out again sort of thing. Has Billy been and, able to do um, his backflip on the trampoline for Derek? Well, he 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 can do it, Ben, as I know he would want me to tell you, that unlike in the documentary, he has progressed <laughs> from when Darcy had to help him. Um, but it, it, he can't quite get to that. We can't quite get into that position but, to yeah, see it yet, but we were working back. on it. We were working on it. But yes, and also they just, Bill just, they've just both not stopped cuddling him. They just keep saying cuddling him. And, and actually, it was a very late night, Wednesday night, obviously, by the time it's all sorted. And then we're all lying in 
a bed and I went to snuggle them down and then I came back downstairs to sleep in yeah. the same room as Derek. Uh, and, and I'm kind of thinking, and, and Bill, Bill, and Darcy, Bill said and Darcy agreed, they both just said, Mum, he is home. Let's just yeah. take that in. He is home. And I said, yes, he is. That's great. Yeah. So, but I guess like they're just delighted he's home, but I'm also trying to sort of balance the emotions at the next stage. Well, you've got a lot, the thing is, as you said, there's still a lot more for you to do, isn't there? There's a lot more yeah. new information coming in about what this new phase means about yeah. the care. Um, but we are, I mean, so we can't tell you how to, the viewers, you have made oh. their, not just their day, you've made their Easter, you've made their really every, this morning. Been. I mean, the outpouring of affection and love and joy for you, Kate, is absolutely across the nation this morning. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm so pleased. And I mean, you know, I'd love to be able to sort of, sh I know we've seen people coming out of hospital where they've been able to come in and everything. And, and I'd love to have been able to share that too, but it, it, it's, just a, it's just not quite that coming home yet for Derek, but... You know, we've got to stay positive, also, we've got to have hope in it. Yes. We'll get there. And he's here! He, he is, is here. here. He is here. That means so much to all of us, Kate. Give Darcy and Billy a big hug so proud and of Derek you, Kate. as well. Do send him our love. Uh, Thank I... you very much. And hopefully I haven't woken him up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he'll be like, oh, back to normal then. <laughs> Kate clattering yeah. around first thing in the morning. <laughs> Wasn't it you two when I overslept dramatically? And he turned off naked the in the background. <laughs> yes, and he walked in the <laughs> shop naked. I was supposed to be on and you had to rush in round it. And, and I was on there and Derek thought I was in the studio and he came marching down the stairs going, why are you making so much noise naked? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine, let's hope but that that's part I'm... of his recovery. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. Would it be brilliant if he did that now? That would be the, that would be the fourth it? miracle I'd have. We <laughs> wait for that moment. We wait for that moment. You've made our hearts swell with joy this oh, morning, well, thank Kate. you to everybody and thank you to everybody, uh, um, all of you watching at home, because... You completely got through, got me through this. Um, and fingers crossed we could all keep going together. Yeah. 100%. It's just the next step. A big chapter, as you say, is just about to open, Kate, and we'll be with you every yeah. step of the way. It's just lovely to see your big, beaming, beaming face this morning. Uh, you can go you. and clear the tea up, tea up now that you spilt all over the yeah, floor in your know. excitement. Yeah, I There's a massive job to show. There's a big puddle on the floor, and I just thought, I haven't got time <laughs> to do it now. I haven't got time to do it now. I'll just do it in a minute. Standard. <laughs> Lots of love Standard. for you, my darling. Lots of love. Lovely to Lots see you. Lots of love to love. everyone. See you next week. Bye-bye. Uh, do you know, oh my goodness. Anne says it here, I've wept tears of joy. Yep. Pure joy for Kate and her beautiful family. Who says dreams don't come true? I'm sure Derek will come on leap, leaps and bounds now he's home. Bless you all. I think it's really important, as Kate said, she can't share with us exactly where it is and there's a long, long way to go, but this is a monumental step. You know, when I remember sitting with her about a year ago and her telling me that he'd gone into hospital and what that felt like and just thinking at the time, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine. And it hasn't been, it's been anything but fine. And not just for Kate, but for families up and down the country have been through this and lived this as well. And if but there's for any him to hope, have survived, yeah, to I mean, there's on. so many people who got that ill and didn't survive, and many people have had to have funerals for their yeah, loved ones because they got this ill. And the miracle almost is that Derek is with us. I mean, yeah. being this ill and to survive this long and now to be home for that the care is he's received, for the positive from all story. your support as well. Yeah. We just of, thank you. And the yeah, impact huge that, hope. that they're having on other people's lives. I mean, most people I meet who know I'm on Good Morning Britain must always ask, you know, how is Kate? How is Derek? And I just think that, you know, that lots of people saw that documentary. They saw how she was coping and how it was that great story of him getting better and coming home now and that will have a massive impact on other people's lives so I hope she knows that but I'm sure she's got so many other things to focus on yeah first of all clearing up the tea Kate yes. sort the tea out uh, <laughs> Laura's got some weather for us